What's up, ball fans? Catfish here. I'm in the great state of South Carolina, Manning, South Carolina. And I'm fixing to show y'all the downside to trucking and owning your own truck. Follow me. Yep, that's right. Fueling. It's pretty cheap here. Cheapest I've seen it in a while. side started. Now we'll go over here to the other side and get my other tank. I've got a 125 gallon tank over there and a 135 gallon tank over here at 260 gallon capacity. I've got about a quarter of a tank I reckon. So, uh, it ought to be a few pennies to fill her up. She's still drinking. Come back in a few minutes. It'll probably get up there close to 200 gallons, I reckon. Yeah, I've got to do this rigmarole about four times a week. It gets painful. But this time it's a little less painful because it's about 20 cents cheaper than it normally is. There we go, an even, almost an even $600. I actually feel pretty good about that. Sometimes it can be about $675, $700 to fill this joker up. Anybody loan me some money, be grateful. That's not at all. The pain continues. Got to get some of this diesel exhaust fluid. I don't know. I've got about... I can hold 25 gallons of this. Not quite empty, but it's good. Fortunately, I only have to do this about twice a week. If I get a couple of hundred miles out of a gallon of death. I probably got about five gallons of death in it when I started. See what kind of progress we've made. Right, we got a long way to go. This death doesn't pump very fast. We're getting close. There she goes. I guess I had about eight gallons. Well, we're going to do one of the things that I hate doing the most out here on the road. Let me show you. See that down there? That's my laundry. Well, let's go. Let's go get it done. You can't do your laundry if you don't put it in the washing machine. Let's do it. What do you think about the laundry room being upstairs? Jeez. I must think I need some exercise or something. Somebody's in the TV room. Looks like all the washing machines are empty. Nobody in the fitness room. Let's see. 
get my credit card out and do laundry. I got a big enough load I can separate my whites. I don't even know if I do laundry right, but I do it and it gets me by. Darn, I've got a lot of t-shirts. exciting but it's about the most excitement I get in a while Some grub. Let's show y'all a surprise. I'm getting ready to cook me up a bunch of meat before it goes bad in the refrigerator. And I'll just heat it up on my leftovers in the microwave. But uh, I like cooking up a lot of meat at once, so I don't have to do this very often. Ain't no loss of appetite this week. There's one thing about it, I eat good on this truck. I did me up some mushrooms and onions, put on my meat. Man, that's good stuff. Mm, mm, mm. I'm ready to chow down. Got me some pork chops, some, some uh, ribeye, some pickled okra, some jalapenos. Got some creamy horseradish. Mm, mm, mm. It's gonna hit the spot. Wish you was here. Well, I'm at Michael's Craft Store in Chesapeake, Virginia. And they're going to unload me here at this store. i got to put that truck and trailer in that dock right yonder. So here you go. To show y'all something just in time for Christmas there's your whole tractor trailer load of crafts and knickknacks so if you like Michael's craft stores you're welcome
Look at that nice straight backing job. That's what three and a half million miles to get you. I'm going to bed. Well, I got me a little nap. Let's go see what happens after midnight at Michael's. Let's see. When the cat's away, the mice will play. Let's go see what they're doing. Looking good. Is it Christmas time already? Definitely Christmas time. Can you get the box Well, that ain't as far along as I thought. I'm gonna go back to bed. They're gonna wake me up when they get done. Good night. Thanks for tuning in. A day in the boring life of catfish.